Good day, folks. Up here with Jason Bain, the guy I met on uh, Instagram. We've been planning this trip now for a while, since last fall. We've come up here to the Arctic watershed. We've just finished crossing Upper Kasagami Lake, and we're gonna head down the Kasagami River, and eventually the Partridge River, and eventually James Bay. Not sure how long this is gonna take, and the black flies have already found us. I think it's around 300 or so kilometers to paddle. We're gonna end up in salt water. Stick around, it's gonna be fun. So we found what we think is the sandy point. Hey, Jay? Yeah, there's sand under the water. <laughs> it's underwater and there's lots of black flies, so I'm not gonna mess around too long. I'm gonna get the tent up and we gotta get a spot cleared so Cooper can get some shelter. And yeah, there's lots of bugs. Your first seven kilometers in the Arctic watershed. How's it feel? Pretty good. <laughs> we got a site anyways. We found a site. 293 kilometers to go. got to be the earliest that <laughs> either of us were saying we've been in the tent. I don't know. But we're just looking over our map sheets here, trying to decide uh, what, our, what the plan is for tomorrow and how far we think we can make it. But Cooper's in here because the black flies are getting pretty bad and the wind's dropping off. So, yeah. Hanging out in here for a little bit, probably got an early night. Neither of us got a whole lot of sleep last night. Jason was working and I just didn't sleep much. So, catch up tonight and try and make a full day of it out there tomorrow. It is a beautiful morning. It's really cooled off in the night. Had a decent sleep, and Cooper's bringing me a stick. Come on.
He's got his sticks. Now we had a good night's sleep last night. Nice and cool, and now there's no bugs this morning. So, it's awesome. Just getting camp packed up. Jay's got the fire going. Nice and early. It's um, just after 6. So, nice early start today. minutes after seven and we're on the water. Good to go. Just been winding down this river, twisting and turning all over, and doing little beaver dam runs. But so far, it's been pretty quiet. Tension on that. <laughs> Very quick stop for lunch. Just briefly get out, stretch the legs for a couple minutes, and get back in because we've had almost no black flies on the river all morning. And then the moment we got off, we got kind of swarmed by them. There was quite a few. So stay on the water as much as we can. They drive all three of us kind of crazy.
foot in. <laughs> Made it though. That was close. The spray deck doesn't make that any easier, eh? Not at all. <laughs> We've outrun the flies and it's beautiful out. What a day. Some sort of shelter at one point, eh? Yeah, somebody had a cow like that. Those are, those are uh, skis. Snowmobile snow skis. According to uh, Jay's GPS, we did 49.2 or so kilometers. I don't know if that's tracking all the bends and everything in the river, but yeah, we did about 10 hours of paddling today. It was a long day. And the bugs at this site we found are pretty bad. Mosquitoes. Black flies is not really around, but the mosquitoes are awful. But we just saw this little clearing it looked like through the trees, so we can't check it out. And turns out there's, I guess, an old camp here of some kind. There's wood stoves. There's even a wood stove on on uh, skis from a snowmobile. So there's an old building back here. There's like a fallen down outhouse and Anyway, but there's lots of room under the trees here for us, and we found an old barrel so we could have our little fire in it just to boil some water for dinner. I popped the bug shelter up, and we're just hanging out. Cooper and I are just hanging out in here. Uh, Jay's working on his dinner, I guess, out there. But, yeah. Good day. You taking my picture? Hmm? Take him up, picture. Bugs are thick. We're both in the tents. It's been a great day, but we're just gonna hide in our tents, maybe read a little while, and see what the morning brings. Been checking the weather on uh, the Zolio to see what we got coming. Looks like we got some rain coming over the weekend, over the next few days. So, tomorrow should be sunny like today, but then we're moving into some nasty weather as we hit the big water. So, yeah, we got a big lake we have to cross. Don't really want to do that and wind and rain, and, but we'll see. One day at a time, right? Today was a great day. Having a really good time out here with Jason. He's super easy going, so makes it easy. Lots of fun. Alright, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Sitting in the bug shelter, got breakfast cooking in the cozy. Trying a new recipe this morning. 
uh, oatmeal and protein powder and peanut butter powder mixed together. Chocolate, peanut butter, protein, and peanut butter powder. So, see how that goes. Try it out. Something a little different. First bite. It's edible, but <laughs> not my favorite. I'm kind of gritty. Maybe more water. Anyway, got to eat it now. <laughs> Just got uh, oatmeal and then uh, some dried cranberries, chunks of chocolate, almonds, cashews, walnuts. It's a big mixed bag of hazelnuts. <laughs> a little bit of everything. <laughs> stop there to take a look at another potential campsite keep moving on we wait too long the black flies find us and that would make a decent spot to camp I could have a little swim and cool off I'm probably gonna want to have a swim before too long I can feel the river starting to pick up a little bit a little bit of current coming now map doesn't indicate any swifts or rapids anywhere along here so just playing it safe I'm gonna come around the corner and get a nasty surprise
expecting that ledge there. What's that? Got the wrong paddle out for this. Yeah, me too. Wrong paddle, but we'll make it work. so much fun. I love that. Like just being able to scout from the boat and run down. Yeah, you don't have to get out and take a look around and everything. It's perfect. Still paddling, trying to find a site. We've passed a couple that were possible and just didn't look like they were going to fit the bill. A lot of the sites that we read about when uh, looking into this trip, you know, people talked about camping on beaches and everything and there's no beaches right now. The water's too high. Everything we find that's a beach is under two or three feet of water. So keep going. It's 5.30 now and we're both getting kind of hungry. All three of us are ready for dinner. We settled on a spot for camp. I'm going to try and make this work in the blueberry patch here. I'm going to try and make this work here. Oh. Black light in my eyeball. Yeah, it's flat-ish, so clear, if you clear a bit of brush and I think it'll work.
Kind of seems like the wind's just gonna die right off tonight, eh? That was supposed to Look like someone who could use a medium cold beer right now. Are you serious? <laughs> Where'd you get this? I brought a couple. Oh, thanks. I think we earned them today. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. No problem. Well, that's not a bad temperature, actually. Yeah. Considering it was in my bag all day. How's the, how's the temperature? It's warmer than I thought, but it's still pretty cold. It's one of those, uh, it's like... It's nice once you're in. <laughs> 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 it feels good on the sore shoulders anyways. Yeah, I bet. Go on. Go on. Come on, Cooper. Go on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come for a swim. Go on, Cooper. Come on. Go on. Come what on. What are you doing? Get in the water. Come on. Supposed to be a water dog. Go on, Coop. Come on. <laughs> Go on. Come on. Go on. Come on. Oh, there you go. What a chicken. Oh, good boy. <laughs> good boy. Yes, you are. I thought you were a water dog, Coop. sit down and take a look at maps for tomorrow where we're headed we just had dinner after our little swim Jay made enough shepherd's pie to feed four people so full <laughs> and ate it all himself so I had some uh, what was it what the hell is that There called? was potatoes in there you didn't like. Yeah, the potatoes didn't <laughs> rehydrate at all. Beef curry, that's what it was called. Um, yeah, the beef was great. The potatoes were pretty terrible. And we stood around swatting mosquitoes, trying to dry off in our underwear. Which is why you didn't get to see it. So now we're looking at maps for tomorrow. We'll see what the big lake holds, and we'll see what the portage is like and see if the weather cooperates yeah actually that's what I should do is get that thing out and check the Zolio for the weather when we last we checked it like 24 hours ago or this morning maybe it said there was a big front moving in we we're supposed to get a big dump of rain tonight and tomorrow so we came most of the way we're we're very close to the mouth or the opening of uh, Noonan Bay, and then that'll take us out into Kasagami proper, which is a very big lake. Could involve as much as like a, a 10k open water crossing, so we don't want to do that when the wind and the waves are up. So, kind of playing it by ear. It's really gonna the weather's gonna dictate when we can get out there and how far we're going to push. Whether we get up early, if it's clear, we're going to make a run for it. If the weather looks lousy, we'll probably just take our time and hope it clears. Ooh. Oh, I'm so full. God, <laughs> I can't even move. Sounds like it. <laughs> Alright, the bugs are getting bad and we're both cooked. That was a long day. It was a good day. We did great. So, great packing everything up. Hopefully most of it's dry now, but we're heading to bed. Been 
raining for hours. I can hear Jay up and around, so I guess I should get up too. I'm hoping it might let up a little bit, but it just seems to be getting heavier now. So, gotta take the rainy days with the sunny days. It's a beautiful morning. <laughs> oh, I guess I should get some water on and make some breakfast. Doggy, wet day. Yeah, there's more breeze right here than there is up there. <laughs> really gonna have to see what this is like. We got a huge lake to try and cross this morning. And the rain and the wind has shifted from coming out of the northwest now. Which means it's gonna be a bit windy. I make the most of it.